This video demonstrates how you can use tabs to format a business letter in modified block style using Word 2019. When a business letter is formatted in modified block style, three elements begin at the center of the page. Specifically, these are the date line, complementary closing, and signature. Notice that beginning at the center is different from being centered. If you were to fold the correctly formatted letter in half, so the left edge of the paper touched the right edge of the paper, each of these items would start from the crease in the center of the page. The most common error my students make is to center these elements like this. Notice that the center of each line aligns with the horizontal center of the page rather than beginning at the center of the page. The second most common error I see is using spaces to create horizontal space on the left side of each of these elements. This is a sloppy way to format letters because even if the elements appear to start near the center of the page, they may not actually start at the precise center of the page. Also, if someone were to change the font size after these elements have been typed, the position of these words would change. The easiest solution to this problem is to format the letter using tabs. Starting from a fresh Word document, I'll check some settings before I set the tabs. First I want to check the paper size. I'll go to the Layout tab, Page Setup Group, and Size. Here I can see that the document is formatted as standard letter size, which is 8.5 inches wide and 11 inches tall. Next I'll check the margins. This document is formatted as 1 inch all around. Lastly, I'll go to the View tab, Show Group, and check Ruler to make the horizontal and vertical rulers appear. Now I'm ready to prepare the letter. Remember, I want to ensure that I begin three specific lines precisely at the center point of this page, and I'm going to achieve this by setting tab stops. The fastest way to do this is to click directly on the ruler. First check that you see this symbol, which you might think of as a truncated capital L. Then left click once on the ruler to set the tab stop. I know that the paper is eight and a half inches wide, so half of this is four and a quarter inches. I also know there's a one inch margin on the left so even though the starting point would be zero if it weren't hidden, I know it actually represents one inch from the left of the page. I'll start counting zero to one, two, three, four, and then I'll use the small markers to help my eye find four and a half and half of the half, which is a quarter. Remember, even though I see the number 3, I know the 3 actually represents 4 inches from the left edge of the paper because there's a 1 inch margin. I'll left click once, which establishes the tab stop. I'm going to remove this tab stop to demonstrate an alternate way of accomplishing this step. I'll left click on the symbol, and while holding the mouse button down, I'll drag the symbol off of the ruler and release the mouse button. You can think of this as grabbing the symbol with your hand and throwing it away. This next method may be a better choice for you if you have trouble using a mouse or trackpad due to a physical impairment like a tremor, or if you've been instructed to set a tab stop at a precise location like 2.35 inches, which could be impossible to eyeball. From the Home tab, I'll go to the Paragraph group and I'll click on the arrow in the bottom right corner to launch the Paragraph Settings dialog box. From here, 
I'll click on Tabs in the lower left corner to open the Tabs submenu. I'll verify that left is selected and I'll type the position I would like. Remember, I'm using 3.25 inches because this is relative to the margin, which is already one inch, and then I'll click OK. Now I have the same setting that I previously demonstrated by clicking on the ruler directly. When not using letterhead, it is a common practice to start a business letter at about two inches down the page. Usually you will land near this position if you start by pressing enter three times. One, two, three. Next, instead of typing the date at the left margin, I'll use the tab key, which is located next door to Q on most English keyboards. I just need to tap it once to move to the center position, and then I will type the date. When I finish typing the date, I can carry on typing the rest of my letter as usual. The next element that I wish to begin at the center point is the complementary closing. After typing the last line of my letter and pressing enter to start a new line, again I'll tap the tab key once to zoom across to the center. I'll type the closing and then two hard returns to leave space for my signature. I'll tap the tab key one more time and type my name. The tab stop persists downward through the document from the line where I first established it. If I started with a letter that was already fully keyed, my approach would be slightly different. Here I have the same letter, but it's formatted in full block style where every element touches the left margin. Knowing that I wish to manipulate the date line, complementary closing, and signature, I'll start by highlighting the contents of the entire letter by pressing Ctrl and A, and then setting the tab stop using either method. I'll click in front of the S in September and press tab to move it towards the right, and repeat in front of yours truly and my name. Learning how to set tab stops will help you create consistent documents with tidy formatting.